I will create an interface, food. We'll have a field called food type, and it's either pizza or sandwich. A field called toppings, and it's going to be a string array. Then I'll have one called bread, and it'll just be a string. And I'll have one called crust, and it will be a string. Food type is pizza. Here you can see TypeScript suggests bread. And that is considered valid by TypeScript. But what we really wanted was if it's a pizza, then it can have a crust. If it's a sandwich, then it can have bread. How we can represent this in TypeScript is a discriminated union. So we can say interface i pizza and interface i sandwich. Copy this into both and we'll say for a sandwich the food type has to be exactly sandwich and for a pizza the food type has to be exactly pizza and both pizza and sandwich have toppings but sandwich does not have crust and pizza does not have bread. You can say type food equals i sandwich union with i pizza my food and we type that to food and we go food type that can be a sandwich and then if we go down here and we go crust you're gonna get an error that object literal may only specify known properties and crust does not exist on sandwich only bread does so if you change that to bread that's okay it just wants it to be sorted alphabetically and here if we do food type pizza and we go down here and try to put bread that's gonna be a type error and it's gonna tell you it doesn't exist on pizza but if we do crust that is fine it just wants it to be sorted alphabetically here we have a function eat food and it takes in food of type food down here if we go food dot it'll tell you it has food type and toppings because here that's the only guarantee right both types of food sandwich and pizza have toppings but only sandwiches have bread and pizza has crust and we don't know which one we have here but if we go if food dot food type is equal to pizza then down here if we go food dot we see it suggests toppings and crust and if we try to do food dot bread that's gonna give us a type error property bread does not exist on type pizza on food dot crust that's fine it's just telling us that we're not doing anything with this variable and then if we go down here into the else and we go food dot you can see it suggests food bread because TypeScript knows well if it's a pizza then we'd hit this part of the if statement and else it must not be a pizza therefore it's a sandwich and in here we definitely have a sandwich and TypeScript is smart enough to know that and suggest only bread and toppings and not crust and toppings because it knows it's not a pizza here that is how to have a common type food that can either be a sandwich or a pizza and then based on the food type string TypeScript knows which other fields are valid so that is how to have a discriminated union in TypeScript.